this video, we'll be seeing how to connect your mobile device using Wi-Fi debugging in Android Studio. So first of all, we'll be going to our Wi-Fi settings. In our desktop, you can see I'm connected to a network named CodeCC 5GHZ. And now we can open our mobile. Now here on our mobile device, we can see that we are connected to the same network itself. See, I'm connected to the same network. Now we have to enable Wi-Fi debugging. So for that, go to the settings and we have to enable developer options. So for that, go to about devices. So now I'm using OnePlus 11. So this will be different for each devices. So you just have to go to the about section and you have to tap 10 times on the build number. So you can see I have already enabled the developer options. You simply have to tap 10 times on the build number option. That's all. So let's go to the developer options. Let's go to the search select developer options and scroll down and here we can see Wi-Fi debugging see so select Wi-Fi debugging and turn on Wi-Fi debugging now here you can see it is asking you to enable wireless debugging for this network so you can check this option allow always on this network if you trust this network you can check that option click on allow so here on our mobile device you can see IP address and the port number so now we have to pair our mobile and the system so let's go to the system so you have to make sure that the computer and the mobile is connected to the same wi-fi network okay now we have to add the path to the adb file to the environment variable so for that you have to locate your sdk so my sdk is placed on c drive you can see inside the c drive users and the username and you can see a folder app data then inside that local android SDK and platform tools. So inside this platform tools, you can see adb.exe. Now we have to copy the path from this. So copy the path from here. So this might be different for you, but for most of the users, it will be inside the C drive, users and your username, app data. It's a folder. You can see this folder only if you enable the hidden folders. You have to enable the option to view hidden folders. So you can see that option here. So you have to check this option, hidden items, see? So you simply have to check this option and that folder will be shown. And after that, let's copy the path. So hope you understand this part. If you are having any doubt, you can leave a comment below or simply join our Discord or WhatsApp groups. We could have our conversations there. Now copy your path from here and open environment variable. So let's search for environment variable. Search and select the environment variable and you can see a pop-up like this and click on environment variable and you can see path here. So click on this and add a new path. And now you can click on OK. Click on OK and once more OK. That's all. Now we have added the path to the ADB file. So now we can open Android Studio and let's open the terminal. Now we can try if the ADB is recognized. So let's type ADB and let's hit enter. Now you can see the term ADB is not recognized. So that's because we are opening inside the Android Studio. Now you can try opening the command prompt. So you can see that I have opened the command prompt. Now here we can try typing ADB, ADB and hit enter. Now you can see the command is recognized. See, that's why we are having the options you can see the version and all so that means that we have to close android studio let's go to file menu and click on invalidate cache and restart okay now the android studio has opened once more and let's go to the terminal once more and let's try typing adb again it's not showing up so if this is happening to you, you have to simply restart your system and this will not happen again. So for now, in order to continue with the video, I'm going to open this inside the CMD command prompt. Okay, so let's open the command prompt. So now we are inside the command prompt and you can see we are inside the C user user. So we have to navigate to the D YouTube videos and my applications. So let's copy the path from here. Okay, let's copy. So here we have to 
change the drive so for that d so i'm going to open the d now we have to use cd space and paste the path so we don't need that d here and hit enter now we are inside the project folder and now we can type adb adb pair pair is the command to pair with your mobile device pair now we can go to the mobile device so here on the mobile device we can see that we are having an ip address so when we are pairing you can see that there is an option pair device with qr code and pair device with pairing code so since we are going to use the manual option we have to use the pairing code you can also use the qr code most of the time i find it not working properly so that's why i'm going to show you the manual option so click on pair with code and here you can see the ip address and the pairing code so you have to type the exact same ip address so that is 192 So you have to also type the port also and hit enter. Now you have to enter the pairing code. That is 885169. And hit enter. Now you can see that our desktop is paired and you can see successfully paired to this IP address inside the terminal. And you can see on the mobile device, you can see that the desktop is paired successfully. So now we can connect with this device. So for that, you simply have to change pair to connect. So come here, ADB connect. Now you also have to change the IP address. So come here and here we have to change the port. Now the port that we have to use is the port that is showing here. So while pairing, we have to use the exact port and the IP address shown while you are clicking this option. After that, when you are connecting, connecting with the device, you have to use this address, that is IP and port. And you can see that I am having 40145. Okay, so I have to change the port only. IP address is same. Most of the time, IP address will be same. Uh, if you are turning off the Wi-Fi in between, the IP might also change. So 45. And now we can hit enter. See, you can see it is connected connected to the IP address and the port. So you can see on the mobile also wireless debugging connected. So let's go to Android Studio. And here let's close the terminal. So here you can do this inside the terminal from Android Studio itself. You simply have to restart your system, that's all. So now you can see that our mobile device is recognized here. OnePlus, that is OnePlus 11. And you can click on Run. You can see that the application is launched successfully and that's all. This is how you can connect your device with wireless debugging using the manual option. Okay. Now this will work almost all the time. So you simply have to, once you are paired with the device, you simply have to run this code. That is ADB connect and the IP address and the port. That's all. You don't have to pair it all the time. You simply have to pair it once and then you can use the connect every time that you have to connect okay now if you want to connect with qr code you simply can click here and you can see pair device using wi-fi and the qr code will come here and you can also see the pairing code here most of the time i find it not working so that's why i'm showing you the manual option so you can do it either way so if you find the automatic option working you can use this option otherwise we can go with the manual option. I already have a video showing the automatic option in detail. So I will give the link on the description and also on the i button. So you can check that out. So if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos.